you're scared. That's okay. That's okay. I've been vegan for about 10 years now. You know, I've been researching a little bit by little bit and learning more and more about this subject. And last February, I was traveling to Korea and I just wanted to do something good. I wanted to, to help in any way that I could, which started out with a donation, which turned into me adopting my dog, Mute. I mean, it's heartbreaking when you see uh, any type of animal that just wants to be loved. They just want love. And you know, some of the dogs are scared right now because they don't know what to, what to do with human interaction. Um, but there are some that, you know, they're very friendly and loving and I think that they'll adjust very well into homes and into a loving family. So, you know, I'll, I just hope that they all find a home and they all find people that will treat them well. It's okay, I'm not gonna touch you. So it's a dog meat farm. It's pretty typical to other dog meat farm that I've visited. Um, it's my fifth closure of uh, such a facility. So we see um, a lot of dogs um, crammed into a so small space. Most of them will be in cages, overcrowded cages, without solid floors. The conditions are really bad. It's it's actually re really heartbreaking because you realize that these dogs, all of the all of that they have known all their lives is this, you know, cage or this small space around their chain. And um, they have no access to uh, adequate food or water. Some, some of them are really emaciated, but it's a dying trend, eating dog meat. Uh, however, there is still people farming the dogs and because there is consumption of these dogs, um, it's part of uh, some, uh, some tra old tradition. We uh, rescued the dogs. We bring them all back to North Korea, uh, North America, sorry, um, and uh, we find them families here because uh, uh, large animals can find really perfect families here.